Okay, we're going to read day three of your daily Phil by Phil Robinson. The truth that sets us free. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John eight thirty two. We live in a dark day, a day when the devil has indwelled so many and whispered, all truth is relative. He convinced us there's no absolute moral standard for sexuality with the Bible confined to the marital bed. There is no absolute truth regarding when life begins, which the Bible said begins when the first cells are knit in the womb. There is no absolute truth between the definition of marriage, which the Bible indicates as between being between a man, one man and one woman, till death do they part. There's no timeless and absolute truth about virtue or law or even what constitutes the church. Everything is up in the air, the liar says, so follow your own desires and make your own truth. Can there be any doubt that America has fallen under the delusion of the evil one? And yes, this is bad news. But here is the good news, the gospel news. Jesus came to show us the truth that will set us free from the evil one's delusion. John 8.32 Again, look at the writings of Paul. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Jesus Christ in order that in the coming ages he might show us the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 3 through 7. God saved us from evil. He saved us from wrath. He saved us because of his great love for us and for what purpose? So that he could show us the incomparable riches of his grace. Sounds like a good deal if you ask me. We once were freed from sin and once were freed from sin and wrath. How do we live into these incomparable riches? We stake our lives on the absolute truth of the Bible. And what does the Bible say about truth? I'm glad you asked. The Bible is God's written word, and it contains his eternal, divine, and timeless truth. Repeatedly, King David, the man after God's own heart, recognized the truth of God's word. In Psalm 25.5, he wrote, Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. Likewise, in Psalm 33.4, he wrote, For the word of God is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Psalm 119, verse 142. A psalm often attributed to David reads, Your righteousness is everlasting and your law is true. Over and over, the Bible reminds us God's word is absolute, unchanging truth that sets us free. God, thank you for your word and absolute, unshakable truth that abides forever. I pray that our nation, including my family and me, will experience healing by embracing the truth that sets us free. Amen.